Mr. Mayor, he was fired for lying and leaking. The amount of contact with Christopher Steele, who everybody knew and had confirmed by this point, lying, leaking, hated Trump, and feeding the special counsel's office through his conduit, Bruce Orr? Really? Sean, we've known this for a year, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, I, I began Now we have confirmation. This. I began investigating this a year ago when I took on his defense. You can't believe what's going to come out. And this is a dramatic uh, revelation now. But Bruce Orr should have been prosecuted and his wife, a conflict of interest, 10 months ago because we had a Justice Department that was completely warped. Uh, the fact is that these are crimes that are shocking. These are crimes that go to the very heart of our republic. These people had a plan to stop the Republican candidate from getting elected, and then they executed a plan to remove him from office on false evidence, false testimony. The whole thing was made up from the very beginning, and they sold it to 90 percent of our media. Well, it's a tragedy. So the question it's a tragedy. that... Mr. Mayor, they knew in August of 2016 that it was an unverifiable document. Andrew Long the after the FBI, Andrew John Solomon Weissman. broke the report that the Andrew FBI had a spreadsheet Weissman. debunking the Steele dossier, but they still used it as the bulk of information to continue to spy on Carter Page and the Trump presidency. Correct. And Andrew Weissman knew it from the very beginning. And then he trampled over three or four people's rights. The press didn't care because they were going after Donald Trump. So you can you can you can just destroy people if you're going after Donald Trump, whether it's fair or not. This is a terrible crime. The dimensions of it, you still don't realize there's plenty of evidence of what happened in Ukraine, plenty of evidence of what happened in UK, in Italy. This was a this was a massive conspiracy to try to deprive the American people of the person they elected as president. That should never happen. It Why? Because sure. it's also these 302s are full confirmation of reporting of John, Sarah, Catherine Herridge and others that Steele had contact with Victoria Newland and Kathleen Kavalek and Jonathan Weiner at the State Department. They all knew that this guy was desperate to get the dirt out on Trump. But the fact that it then continued after he was proven to be a liar and leaker and that or went along with it. Who else went along with it? How high up well, did it go, know, Mr. Mayor? Jim Comey. Jim Comey put his, his signature on an affidavit swearing that Steele's information was verified. Three times. Yeah, I don't know. You, you, I mean, I don't want to presume him guilty, but at least somebody should question whether he shouldn't go to jail. Do you believe, Mr. I mean, Mayor, that the, thing do you do. believe, sir, that... It looks like John Durham is spending an awful lot of time in Europe. 16 hours he apparently had with... I, 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 know, I know why he's spending a lot of time in Europe. Is it because of what a, I, I believe, sir? I spent a lot sir, of time th investigating Ukraine, Italy, UK, and Australia. In other words, and is it... Mr. Me, Mayor, I'm going to ask a direct question. Was there outsourcing of techniques that are illegal? In other words... Did our top intelligence officials, did they outsource spying on American citizens for the purpose of hurting President Donald Trump or candidate Trump or transition to be President Trump? Did they outsource intelligence gathering methods to spy on Americans to circumvent U.S. law and outsource it to even allied countries? Did that happen, sir? There is plenty of evidence that it happened, Sean. Plenty of evidence. Some of it documentary. Some of it already recorded. Uh, and for a year, people in Europe have been trying to get this to our FBI. And they have been thwarted and ignored and pushed aside. There was a deliberate effort to cover this up. It didn't just happen. Even during the Trump administration, administration. There was a deliberate effort to cover this up, to protect the prior wrongdoers. That's really sick. So There's we have nothing really wrong with that. And we've got to get to the bottom of it because we have to get this cancer out of our justice system and our intelligence apparatus.
Mr. Mayor, I know you stepped out at an event to join us with but this they, breaking I mean, news. Thank are, you, these, sir. These are, these are very, very important things to us, to be able to do intelligence, honestly, easily. And these people have disgraced thousands of really, really good people who do this every day for us. It's a shame. And it's only a few of them. It's only a few. Very account. important point. But I agree. We should say that. FBI, CIA, they're better than you and me. They put their lives at risk. And then they got a couple of people at the top who have completely corrupted themselves. Mr. Mayor, thank you for stepping out of your event to spend time.